Hi, my name is Smith Patel. Uh, this is my final project for my fluid mechanics class. As you can see, uh, what we have decided is we basically have three reservoirs. Reservoir 1, Reservoir 2, and Reservoir 3. Uh, the first reservoir has a small little pond pump which you will find inside of a small little house fountain. Uh, basically, it is a 50 gallon per hour 30 watt pump that has a maximum head loss of about 2 feet. Um, Reservoir 2 uh, is just a, and all these reservoirs also are just made out of recycled materials that we would find in a household. Uh, the tubing itself came with the pump. Uh, the pump was about $10.99, which is not that bad. And the tubing is a total of 39.6 inches. Uh, of which, from reservoir 1 to 2, we have 25.6 inches, and from reservoir 2 to 3, for the overflow, we have uh, 14 inches of tubing. Uh, so this is my setup, and the materials used are recycled as well, uh, except for the pump, which was uh, $10.99 on Amazon, uh, which is very cheap, as I stated. Um, the height of this reservoir two is about 12 inches, uh, mine being 12.8. Um, and so, one of the this was kind of the limitation that we had for this project which was how can we all achieve the same height for our second reservoir uh so we all kind of did it as close as we can with the materials on hand uh so mine ended up being about 12.8 inches and others ended up being a little bit more or a little bit less um also the pump quality was an issue as well uh the pump so my pump was actually pretty close, or actually decent, I would say, to what was advertised um, on the website when we ordered it for the experiment, versus some of my other group members' pump, which were not as accurate. Uh, they were either too slow or too fast. Um, so the quality of that was definitely something to, to be concerned about. Um, another thing was the container itself. Uh, that was a limitation. Uh, the reason being because the first container had to have either a little bit less or a little bit more of water because of the um, surf, like the width of the container from the top or to the bottom. Um, so that was something to be concerned about uh, and, and we were limited by. Uh, because if you put a bigger container here, uh, that would also mean more water in the system and that would mean more water being in the overflow. Uh, so yeah, this was my our setup for fluid mechanics class and yep, hope you have a good day.